G'day, Craig from Fully Air Conditioned here. Today we're going to go through and fault find your Dakin split system. Uh, if your split system has stopped working and the green indicator light is flashing, it means it's in fault and there's a way to get that fault out and I'll go through it today. When the sun's beating down and the sweat on your brow, fully air conditioned, when you're having no fun because your hands and toes are numb, you only need Fully air okay, so here we've got a Dakin split system. I've just turned this one on. Um, we're going to cause it to, to go into fault. So at the moment it's not in fault. The green indicator light up here is solid, um, which indicates that it's operating normally. This particular unit um, is a little different, but the process of finding the fault is the same. Um, it's the same as if we were doing this style of Dakin indoor unit. It, it, it's, it's all the same process. So we're going to set up a fault. We're going to put a um, bit of copper tube through the fan, stop the fan from rotating. Uh, the air can, the, it, that'll cause high current draw on the fan motor and then the fan motor will stop. It'll detect the high current draw and stop. The system will go through a restart process. So it turns off for about five minutes, then restarts, tries to overcome the obstruction in the fan. Um, if it's still there, present again, it'll shut down and stop. It won't actually go into fault until it happens 16 times in a row. So with a five minute gap between 16 times in a row, this is going to take about an hour and a half for it to go into fault. So um, I'll just turn it off so I can stick this in the fan and put it into fault. Okay, so the way we find what the fault is once the green light's flashing is through the remote. So we're going to use the remote to send a signal to the unit to tell us whether, to tell us what the fault code is. So there's, there's two ways of doing this and I'll show you the first way. So the first one is just to, to slide the cover down. We find the cancel button and we push and hold the cancel button down. You'll see after about five seconds that we get this zero zero at the top of the screen. The way that the air conditioner tells us what fault it is is by the remote control sending a signal to it and then it admitting either a single beep, double beep or a long beep. The single beep means that none of these digits are part of the code. A double beep means one of the two digits is part of the code and a long continuous beep means that that is the fault. Um, zero, zero is no fault. So if you bring that up on the remote control and the air conditioner emits a long continuous beep, then that is no fault. So the way we uh, work out what code it is, each time we push the cancel button, it will change this code up here. It'll send a signal to the indoor unit and then the indoor unit will emit a beep. So if I push it once, it goes from 00 to A5. Push it again, E7. Push it again, F3 and so on and so on. And there is about 20 or 30 different fault codes in the remote control. But the main thing we're listening for is the bit coming back from the indoor unit. We'll go through and do it once that unit is ready to do. We're just gonna go through and show you the second way to get the fault code out. So again, we just slide the cover down and we need to push the temperature up and down at the same time, which is a little difficult, and mode. And we come up with SC, push it one more time, and now we have zero, zero again. And just one of the um, digits is flashing. So we use the temperature up and down and it changes just the first digit. So we go through the process until we hear a single beep. I mean a double beep um, for the first digit. And then when that double beep happens, then we push mode again and then the second digit is now flashing. And then, and then we use the temperature up and down and um, we push it again until 
we get the long continuous beat. So each time you're pushing this now, if H was part of the fault, each time we push it, the indoor unit would be going beep, 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 beep. When the last digit, just say it was H9, once we hit H9 and it transmits to the unit, the unit will emit a long continuous beep. Doing it this way brings up more codes. Okay, so there is a fair few more codes that this way will bring up, um, opposed to just doing the cancel. But the cancel is the simplest. Do that first, if it doesn't work, then try the other way. Okay, we're back. Uh, it's been about an hour and a half now. Um, we, the, the unit's gone into fault. So we can tell that because here the operation light is flashing green. Um, the louvers are closed, everything's closed up. And if we try and turn it on, it just doesn't do anything. Okay, so, so it's in fault. So, so now this is where we use the remote control to fault find. So it's going to push and hold cancel. It comes up with zero, zero. I'm going to go through. I think I need to have it on. So come close and just so we can hear the beep. So L3, L4, L5, U4, E6, H6, HO, A6, UO, C7, A3, H8, C9, CC, C4, Probably going to go through all of them by the looks of it. E7, yeah. So because I had I had turned it off and the light wasn't flashing when I went past E7 the first time, um, it actually didn't come up. So you heard a long continuous beep, and that let us know that that was the fault. Um, the second way to do the fault, and I'll go through and show you how to do that now. Okay, so again, we just make sure it's on. So when I picked up the remote, it set off. Turn it on, green light flashing. So now we can put it through the test. So again, temperature up and down in mode. We come with our C, SC, push mode once. And now we've got one light, one of the, um, one of the error codes flashing. So each time I push that, you get a single beep. Double beep, that means that's the first code is, um, is correct. To move to the next one, we push mode. So each time I'm pushing that, I'm getting a double beep. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but each time I push it's a double beep. When it gets to seven, because we know it was E7 last time, we'll get a long beep. So if you listen now, you'll get a long beep. And that's the fault, so E7. Okay, so once you've got the fault code from the unit, then um, you get the fault code list. Um, we've got a link on our website where you can download this. So we had E7, so you go down the side column, find E, and then across to seven, and then malfunction of outdoor unit fan motor. Um, so to fix that, we simply remove the bit of copper pipe that we had jammed in there. Um, so that's fixed. The way to reset it is to reset the power. So usually on the outdoor unit, you'll find an isolator <coughs> and you can reset it here, turn it off, wait 30 seconds um, and then turn it on. If you, if you don't have an isolator on the outdoor unit, we can, we'll have a look at the switchboard and find the circuit there. Okay, so you find your switchboard somewhere in your house. Um, this is here. Work out which one it is. Display unit and then um, find that circuit and then just turn it off. Um, same deal, turn it off for about 30 seconds let it lapse, that gives time for the PC boards and everything to depower and clear the fault. When you turn it back on, the fault won't be there um, and the unit should be right to start up. If, 
if there is a major problem, the fault will come back straight away. That's when you need to call someone to get it repaired. Uh, make a note of the fault that we found. So like E7, make a note of that, of that um, fault code because it'll help the person who comes along to repair your unit with that information. Okay, so we've um, turned the power back on at the circuit breaker or isolator, either either. Uh, this was in the on position when we turned the power off and now you can see the green light is solid, the louvers are opening up, um, it's getting ready to start. So the fault's being cleared. If that still had an obstruction in there, um, the fault would come back. It would try and restart, go through the same process again, come up with green flashing light. Or, or some faults, um, some faults, you know, like if the board's burnt out on the outdoor unit, it'll come up with a fault straight away, like U4. Um, U4 is a very common fault that comes up a lot and nine times out of a 10, it can just be reset uh, with the power. It's usually a dirty power fault, like a brownout, um, just not the correct supplied voltage from the, from the uh, power grid. Okay, thanks for watching. Hopefully that's helped you out a little bit, um, get you out of a tight jam. Um, yeah, like and subscribe for more good videos. Well, at least I think they're good. When the sun's beating down and the sweat on your brow, all the air conditioned, when you're having no fun because your hands and toes are numb, you only need to remember one name.